Kelsey Nicole Nelson back here at the Taste of NFL ahead of Super Bowl 58 live from Las Vegas. I'm here with Mr. David Caldwell, former New York Giant, former Indianapolis Colt. Let's talk about the AFC and this game. Kansas City Chiefs look pretty good. Many people thought they wouldn't be here, but they defeated the Baltimore Ravens. And yet here Patrick Mahomes is again going for ring number three. Do you like their chances in the big game? I can't bet against Patty. I can't bet against Patty. I, I made that mistake, especially with the <laughs> AFC with Brady for like 20 years span where he just broke my heart, even though I'm a Jersey guy. So the Giants, you know, we, we took those two wins. But um, it, uh, it, it's definitely Patrick Mahomes time, I feel like. But I also grew up a 49ers fan. Mm. So I think the 49ers have the better team. Yeah. I think the Chiefs have Patty and it's hard to go against Patty. Yeah. So. I don't know. What you got, Kelsey? <laughs> Who you got? Don't put me on it's the spot. It's hard. I like the Chiefs because, mm -hmm. like you said, it's hard to bet against mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes. Mm -hmm. I saw the game right there in Baltimore. thought the Ravens would win, but Patrick Mahomes prevails. You know, I like Brock Purdy, but I think the Chiefs' defense is underrated. And I do think they can put pressure on Brock Purdy. And I think that's when he's turned to make a turnover. I have a close game, David. Yeah. And have I a close one. With the confidence that a player like Patrick Mahomes brings yeah. to the rest of the team, yeah. it's like when you look on paper, the 49ers look like a better team. Right. But when you got Patty on you, it elevates your yeah, game Patty where you expect them. to win. You know yeah. what I mean? And plus, I'm an Odell fan and a Lamar fan, so they yeah. beat my team. So it's like, or they beat my players. I only root for players now. Yeah. So it's kind of like I got to rock with them. You yeah. know what I mean? So I it is what it is. You, you know? talked about being a Lamar fan. He just got his second MVP. Second, youngest. youngest. He just turned 27. A baby still, right? How do you feel the narrative will change for Lamar Jackson after this MVP? I, I really just hope. Hey, He's already a winner, you yeah. know what I mean? But I really hope just so when it goes down in the record books, yeah. him being a legend and him getting the credit and just do, I hope that he wins one next year. Um, but you know what it is, what it is. It's a competitive, it's a competitive league. Yeah. So, but um, shout out to Lamar. He shouldn't feel bad. He's still um, doing legendary things, so I'm happy for him. And talking about a competitive league, the NFC East is changing. The Washington Commanders, brand new ownership, all brand new coaching staff. Do you think they'll be able to give the Giants a little hissy fit come next season? No. <laughs> that was a quick answer. No challenges. No, nah, I know, I know y'all DC looking at me like, oh, uh, he from Jersey, so he already know. But um, you know, they do their little thing, you know, I ain't, we ain't, we ain't tripping, but I gotta root for the home team. You know, I, I grew up it. like ten minutes down the street from the stadium, so I gotta rock with them. I love it. Yeah. The Giants winning the NFC East next year. Definitely. Okay. So Dallas Cowboys, second, third, last place? I mean, it, it, it's irrelevant. <laughs> we don't irrelevant, even give you know <laughs> Well, David, before I let you go, you heard the taste of NFL. What brought you here and what's been most exciting for you thus far? I tell you what, just sharing this experience. When you yeah. think about the mission that Taste in the NFL is really here for, supporting that mission, um, feeding people, and um, you know, just the, the energy that comes with Super Bowl. Yeah. This is my second oh, my taste of the NFL. <laughs> it's just a dope energy, and it, it makes me feel like I don't get this a lot, where people, you know, kind of asking me to take pictures and all that stuff. So, I, I don't believe you. you know, I'm, I'm telling you, so this is just always love. You know, I appreciate these moments. So where are you originally from? Jersey. Jersey. I'm all a right. Jersey guy. You He's know, a Jersey guy. All right. Well, it feels like Jersey from. right now, right? Vegas is a little bit colder than we expected. <laughs> Definitely. It's like you come out here to Super Bowl thinking you're going to get a little pool action, you know, that type. But, um, you know, I guess this is the football weather that we uh, are used to. So that we love. Mm -hmm. David Caldwell, thank you so much for joining Absolutely. me. Truly appreciate your time. They just got to call. They just got to make it happen because, you know, music is music and people love it across all different walks in this world. I love that. Just bring the energy, put on a good show, and be legendary. I love that. So we have new music dropping. Anything else we can expect from Blanco Brown? Uh, EP dropping April 5th, and we're going to keep going. I'm doing touring this year, and next week we in Qatar and Poland. USO tour, so I was getting back to the troops and whatnot. So exciting. So we're based in Washington, D.C. Any message for our fans based in Washington, D.C., in the nation's capital? Love and purpose over everything. It'll get you through all your circumstances. I love it. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your time.